Hello, I'm Hanifa from Save the Children Uganda. The innovation we propose is Act for Bath, A audit, C cellophone, T technology, and training. Through the current audit system, monitoring bath has been um, an issue. And measuring a baby's fetal heart is one of the single most important indicator of fetal distress. In Uganda, most of our health facilities do not have reliable electricity. And if it is there, there is a lot of load shedding. And therefore, this innovation builds on that, whereby it is human powered. You do not need electricity. You just have to spin, and when you spin, you generate power in, uh, that is in these replaceable batteries. So what the health worker does, they monitor the baby's heart using the fetal heart rate monitor. So they switch it on, put this probe onto the mother's abdomen to get the baby's heart. And by listening to the intensity, like, you know, the midwife is able to use this intensity to know whether the heart is normal. Because if it is slow, for example, beating once in a while, then she will be able to know that that is a slow heart and therefore we need to take action. Because monitoring alone is not important unless when it is linked to action. Additionally, the health worker is able to read the heart rate onto this monitor. By knowing the normal heart, heart rate of the baby, she will then be able to take action. This will also be coupled with an electronic audit system to improve the capture of data and link it to action. So the cell phone will be used in entering data, but also community health workers will be offering information on a referral birth, and then we shall be able to reduce the 33% contribution of intrapartum death for the neonates of Uganda. Thank you.